hello ben hone excuses welcome back today we are going to see about uh, uh, the pimol the molecular visualization tool in first step we'll see how we can install the pimol in quick video so after that i will give you a quick demonstration for you how we can work with this pimol So once you successfully install the Pymol software, you will see you will see the layout of uh, Pymol like this. Let us first see some of the basic options. What are the basic options are here available here in the Pymol layout? So this file layout is this file option is to, to open your PDB file and to save the PDB coordinates. Here we have an option to directly get it from the RCSP I admin mean, protein data bank. And once if you, if you want to save, you can save this emo. You can save uh, uh, this file into image format okay so if you want to cancel everything we have a reinstallation option as available where it will clean everything for you okay so here edit option is also available if you want to do undo so the same as it is so you can do it uh, as you are doing in a word copy word file you can do it uh, here also in the same way you can build a fragment if you want to build a fragment like for example if i want i want to build a fragment of uh, various amino acid okay for example you just need to click a residue and just add uh, uh, alanine here if you want to add leucine you can see here you can see the primary structure of uh, our proteins has been building like this okay so here if you want to reinstallize everything so click on reinstallize so now if you, you can build here and if you want to create a movie of Pymol, you have options here. You can change, uh, uh, we can change the uh, visualization style by using the display option. We can change the settings of a secondary structure, sorry, uh, structural components, various structural components by using the settings option. Here again, it is a camera mode. I mean, uh, the movie mode is also is here, where you can change, here you can change the mouse options, wizards, 
plugins okay there are various plugins are there so i'm going to provide uh, the plugins also plugin information also in uh, uh, description box please check if you want to install some of the plugins we have so many so many plugins are available even for the pro max multi dynamics and even for the autodoc okay there are various plugins are available for the prime mode where you can install very easily all those plugins in the prime mode so i provided the uh, uh, plugin information in the description box please go through it you will find more information about the plugins there okay so here uh, there is help also is there if you want to have any queries if you want to know about uh, faqs so if you don't uh, want to know code for the uh, tutorials you will find everything here in a uh, uh, help box okay so along with this you will find the command uh, commands line command line is there where you can have an option to if you know the commands of the pi mode you can easily type here and uh, uh, you, can, you, can, you can run this command by using this uh, command uh, uh, script method so here uh, in this box if you see the right side the top box here again we have a reset zoom all these options are available okay so here if you, if you come to this uh, panel uh, right side panel okay so right side panel there is uh, three four buttons are available okay so the first one is a means action okay so here the a means action s means show here h means hide l means label c means color okay so these are the five different options are available where we need to we, they are highly helpful for us when we are annotating the protein structure if you come to the bottom of this page you will find uh, a few more a few more options are there if you want to play the movie so there is options of play pass and forward version options are available so here s yes mean sequence show there is option is available once we load the put instruction i will show you how we can use this information okay so these are the basic layouts which is present in the uh, pymol so let's start so first of all uh, we need to retrieve the protein structure okay so here go to pdb or you can directly download it from uh, uh, rcsp so already i have a uh, pdb structures are available with me so open pdb so i have uh, you have option if it in a single shot you can you can uh, load one protein at a time or if you want to uh, load a multiple files also you have option uh, i'm going to load one protein, protein pdb structure okay so here i loaded the one pdb structure here so uh, once you load the pdb structure you will find uh, by default it is showing a cartoon for cartoon format for you okay so the cartoon format for you so if you want to see the sequence of uh, sequence of this protein so as i told you here there is a s option is available here you will find the sequence of this protein if you want to select particular region you can easily select them like this okay you can easily select them like this so here you can see for example if i want to select only this region you will see, you'll see once you select this one it will show you an option like this for you so here if you want to save this particular area simple you have to go to action rename so here change this and as a region region one okay click enter it, will, it has been saved as a region one so if you want to save other region also like this so here for example if i want to save this region now i am saying just a second region just first hide this one okay so you need to hide them so otherwise it is override that structure here select this region and click go to action okay go to action so here again rename and here click on region 2 okay now we can see here there are two regions has been selected so first of all we will see about some basic what exactly the basic uh, uh, mouse options are available this is very important when we are working with this pie mode uh, you have to learn uh, the mouse option there are four basic options are available in uh, using the mouse in pie mode uh, the first one is the left click so if i zoom in and zoom out okay you just hold the left click you will find the zoom in and zoom out okay so for spinning the molecule you will find you need to hold the right right click of the mouse so if you scroll down you will find a depth due depth due of the protein molecule 
if you hold the, the screw if you hold the uh, wheel mouse wheel you can easily uh, change the position of uh, change the position of uh, the protein molecules okay so next we will see about uh, there is a means action s means uh, show h means hide label and color okay so first of all we will remove this water molecule you can see here some of the water molecules are there i just want to remove, remove them okay go to here uh, action remove water molecule so I, I removed the water molecules now the structure is very clean so now we can see here uh, it is in uh, it is in cartoon shape if you want to change this one into uh, some other shape first of all we need to hide this cartoons go to hide okay so hide cartoon okay so again here show so now if you want to show it in a line format you can show here click on the line format you can easily visualize the structure in a line format uh, line format okay so here uh, there are several options are available if you want again hide hide the wire and line show ribbons okay so there is a ribbon option also is available you can show it uh, in a ribbon format so here hide ribbon okay so i will i will show you this one in a cartoon format also you can see here i will show you uh, i can we can show this information in a cartoon format so we can change the colors also i can say you have to go to the c color option so color by uh, element i mean based on the carbon hydrogen uh, oxygen and sulfur so based on this nitrogen color these colors where you will find uh, uh, the complete protein molecule by chain also you can change you can see here so by chain uh, we change the color so by secondary structure component also we can change okay secondary structure by secondary structural component by representation by spectrum okay so rainbow spectrum we can change or if you want to maintain the mono colors like uh, if you want to maintain the complete structure as a red you have to click the right okay so here we are going to select by chain okay so even we can label the structure for example if you want to label the entire structure here there is option is available if you want to receive label the residue chains you can see here i label that by chain so here it's providing a various chains are there in this protein it's labeled them as it is okay so here i'm just removing the label label clear so if you want to specifically label one particular amino acid for example i want to label this particular amino acid okay so here i want to label uh, this uh, arginine okay so i want to label this arginine molecule so select this arginine molecule here uh, once you select this one you will find this selection option will pop out so go to show stick okay so stick here uh, okay zoom uh, you will find this region okay so here label the residue now you can see here arginine 26 has been labeled okay like this we can label the structure so we have seen this uh, cotton format also now if you want to change into the surface format that is also very easy you can go to show surface you can see here uh, a beautiful graph uh, beautiful protein structure has been created if you want to show the surface as a transparency uh, transparent or if you want to show the cartoon as a transparent we have options are available for this one you have to go to settings transparency surface so what is that uh, what uh, what is a uh, transfer rate you want okay so for example if i select the 50 hours in transparency sir you will get the uh, you will get this one 50% uh, transparency okay so if you want to increase the transparency so you can increase it so here if you want to make 80% you can see here almost it is disappearing okay so one more thing you have to remember uh, uh, when you're working with the pie mold uh, please select the background as a white color so when you are going for the publication they are not going to publish yeah, unless until you you give give the structure in a background in a white format okay go to display background click on white now we can see here 
the white background has been created okay if you want to remove this transparency again go to setting transparency surface off okay so surface has been off let's let's now if you want to save this molecule if you want to save this molecule we have options are available you just need to go to file save as png okay so here save as png capture current display if you want to capture current display you can save this one so here save as uh, this particular file okay so you can see here the protein structure has been created you can save this molecule like this okay so let's go back uh, let's hide this molecule let's hide this surface you will see uh, the cartoon molecule so if you're going for the publication you have to remember go to action preset and click on publication mode okay so if you click on the publication mode it will generate a high quality uh, high quality secondary structural component for you cartoon molecule for you so generally most of the time we uh, for publication purpose we prefer to use either cartoon format or surface format if you want to show the cavities if you want to show the active site binding site we have to use the surface surface regions if you want to show the internal contents in a protein if you want to show the secondary structural component we have to use this uh, uh, we have to use this uh, uh, cotton format Even you have a chance to generate a like electrostatic potential also you just need to go to action generate vacuum electrostatic, vacuum electrostatic and potential contact uh, potential local okay if you click on this region you will find a, a electrostatic potential map of uh, uh, of your particular interested protein okay so here you can see the positive and negative and neutral amino acid based on the color so here the basic amino acids are falls under the blue color the acidic amino acids are in a red color and the remaining color has been modified as a neutral one okay so like this we can generate a beautiful graphs by using uh, by using this uh, beautiful figures sorry uh, you can generate a beautiful figures by using the pymol option so this is about some of the basic options are available uh, in the PyMole. We will discuss a little bit more about the PyMole in coming classes. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.